Well, 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 look who decides to show their face on YouTube after like a week of absence entirely from every playlist I have currently on my channel. Well, what happened recently is that I got engaged to my one and only true love, Jessica Jenkins. Hella cool. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. So, um, here I have a chance here to entertain you guys all for battle that I have recently. And, uh, it looks like my opponent's gonna start things off the Dutch trio. And, um, I'm gonna lead off my Breloom. My first initial thought was like, oh, crap, I lost the Breloom right off the bat. Thinking that, you know, it was probably maybe a Choice Bandit or a, uh, Life Orb set carrying the aerial, aerial Ace, which is what I carry because, like, you know, those pesky Breloom and those Verizion and th other things like that. I can hit for super effective damage and, um, probably one-shot those things. But, uh, uh, unfortunately for me, I'm sorry, unfortunately for him, he goes for Sucker Punch, which I even I don't even understand because it's like, okay, I'm fighting, so I kind of resist the, um, the ground, I'm sorry, the dark type move. Um, it's not even stab or anything like that, so you won't even get a good damage output even though I do resist it. Rhythm's, um, you know, defenses happen to be quite shit. And um, he just decides to stay in after I put the thing to sleep. And he does have a Dragonite, what I've seen from the team preview. So this dude is like staying in. I don't even understand this. This is the kind of stuff that kind of throws you off. It's like, hey, you know, I'm just going to Shell Smash. Or I'm just going to probably go for the, um, you know, the Ice Beam predicting the Switch. Because you probably might need your Heat Tram for later on. You know, just for example's sake. And then it turns out like, hey, my God, why the hell would you stay in? I could obviously kill you. Kind of scenario that was going on here. So I'm able to shoot the, um... Polito to Oblivion, in comes Lucario, breaks the substitute with the uh, extreme speed, could have probably broke it with uh, close combat, I uh, was behind the substitute, so if I wanted to focus punch the living shit out of that thing, I could have just went and did that anyway, but I decided to put it to sleep because I noticed he's not like switching out or anything like that, so let me just take advantage, knowing that he has Dragonite left over, decides to make a smart move, brings in the Dragonite, and I'm just able to Ice Shard to break his multi-scale, I'm thinking it's probably maybe a Dragon Dance or whatever like that. It shouldn't matter to me since I do have the sturdy abilities. So if he goes to the D-Dance, he's going to have to get hit by not one but two Ice Shards before he's able to inflict any damage onto me, barring that he doesn't have Extreme Speed. So he goes for the um, Hurricane, and uh, judging from that damage output, it's like, whoa, you got to be choice specs. So that's actually a good thing in my opinion because I don't have to necessarily worry about this thing outspeeding the rest of my guys. So I can bring in Landorus and um, Revenge Kill it, barring that he stays in, provided that he stays in, actually. And um, Revenge Revenge kill it with the HP ice, which 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 is what happens. Hey! So in comes the scissor, right? And um goes for straight for the bullet punch. I'm thinking it's probably choice banded, judging from that damage output, which I am correct. I thought um I'm like, okay, let me just go, go to that nice um damage calculator calcul calculator. I can't even say the word damage calculator real quick, you know, for the uh damage output, and it does happen to be choice. Um, ban it. That's significant because now instead of uh, me bringing out something else like maybe uh, maybe Swampert or something like that, I could bring in the Gorbis knowing full well that um, he would probably have to switch out if not try probably stay in. I mean, I don't even know why you would stay in if you're locked on the bullet punch. I resist it since I'm part water. And then I could like um, shell smash out into Swampert. Yes, Swampert. You're about to see that in a bit. And or Dragonite, depending on what um, he decides to bring out in corresponding in response in a response to my um shell smash. Um, pardon me, guys. So he decides to stay again, and this Swampert is not defensive at all. Who does that? Offensive Swampert. In comes the Gastron. He thinks he's safe, man. Man, should know better than that, man. Look who you're playing against, man. I'm weird as. Hidden Power Grass, one shots the Grastron to Oblivion, son. And the thing he has left over is the Lucario, and that's obviously going to um, die up to a Surf. So that was definitely a great game. Viewers, do not forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, kind of feels surreal and new to this kind of um, narrative thing since I haven't necessarily done it for like a week. So I feel like a newbie. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, congrats to me. Got engaged. Yeah, power. Ooh.